Inside the die join contract, the functions join and exit both call a function called move on the back contract. In the code that we're working on, we renamed the die join contract as coin join. Inside our coin join contract, we still have the function join and exit, and inside it, it calls the function fat.move. We renamed this function to CDP engine.transfer coin. So in this video, we'll rewrite the function path.move. To begin with, I'll go to the maker.dss repo and we'll click on the back contract and then look for a function called move. Okay, here it is. So I'm going to copy this code and all of the relevant code that are needed for this part of the code. Back inside our editor, I'll open the CDP engine that we're working on and then I'll paste the function move. Inside this function, I notice that it's calling into a function that we have not defined yet. Wish, sub, and add. So let's go copy these from the back contract and then paste it inside here. Okay, here they are. The function wish is defined over here and it uses a state variable called can. And then we also have the function for add and sub. Since solidity 0.8 does not overflow, we no longer need these functions. So let's remove this first. And then over here, for now, we can say, just remove these. So this will be sub and this will be add. Okay, next let's look at the function wish. So going back up, we have a state variable called can and we have several functions that write into this state variable. And then we have a function called wish. What this mapping represents is the owner. The first key address is the owner. Next will be the user. And then next will be a either a zero or a one. And this tells if the user can modify the owner's account. If it is a one, then this user can modify the owner's account. And if it is a zero, then this user is not authorized to modify the owner's account. First, let's change this to a Boolean. Boolean. And then let's do the same over here. Boolean. And then we have two functions that write into this mapping called can. So can is a mapping that represents authorization from owner to user. It's a little bit similar to the ERC20's allowance mapping. It approves other users to spend tokens on their behalf. Let's rename this function to allow account modification. And then let's rename this node to deny account modification. And as a reminder, this function was called nope and this function was called hope we also changed the value to be stored from un 256 to boolean so this will be true and this will be false so as you can see over here message sender allows another user to modify message sender's account the, and likewise the function deny account modification message sender denies user to modify message sender's account so that's the function hope and nope. So now we're ready to understand the function wish. For the input, it takes in bit and user. This bit is a little bit confusing, but if you take a look at it here, we kind of understand what it's supposed to, what this address represent. Remember over here, this mapping can map from owner to another user. So this bit, let's rename this to owner. And inside this function, it checks that either this owner from the input is equal to the user or the owner has approved this user to modify the account. And since we're no longer storing the number one, we're just storing a boolean, we can remove equal equals to one. So now we sort of understand what this function should do. What this function does is it checks whether this owner can modify this user's account. So let's rename this to can modify account. And the either function, it just checks that either the first input is true or the second input is true. So we don't need this. And then let's just say either owner is equal to user or owner has approved user. Okay, so that's the function wish. Let's go on to the function move. The function move will update the internal balance of die that is recorded in the back contract. And we see this state variable called die. So let's create a state variable. So we'll have a state variable called a mapping from address to uint256 public, and this is called die. It stores the amount of die that is recorded for the user in the MakerDAO system. 
Inside our stablecoin system, we'll refer to our stablecoin as coin. So let's rename die to coin. Okay, next let's rename this function move. What this function will do is move the coin balance from source to destination for the amount red. So we'll rename this to transfer coin. And obviously, we want to make sure that this whoever's calling is authorized to modify the account of source. So that's what this function wish is doing. We rename this to can modify account. Inside this function, it checks that whether message sender is equal to this source. In other words, message sender is the owner of the account that it's modifying or message sender was approved by this source to modify the coin balance of source. If either of them evaluate to false, then our function will halt over here. Otherwise, the code will continue executing. And then it updates the coin balance of source, take the current coin balance of source, and then minus red. To the destination, add red. We can simplify this by removing this part, and then just say minus equals. And likewise, over here, and say plus equals. And that completes the function move. We rewrote it as transfer coin. Let's try compiling the contract. Inside the terminal, I'll type forge build and our contract compiles. 